right, team. Let's go. Build it rocket! Art. Haystacks, the end of summer morning effect. Painted by Claude Monet. And music. Wedding Day at Trollhagen. Written by Edvard Grieg. the little Einsteins, and this is our rocket ship. Rocket! Wow! Cool tower, Rocket! Rocket loves building things. Do you like to build things? Great! Well, we've got an important building project today. We're going to help our friends, the three little pigs. <laughs> They're building their houses. Ooh, the first pig is making his house out of straw. Impressive. Wait, I hear someone coming. He sounds big. And then it's... The Big Bad Wolf! Uh-oh. The big bad wolf loves to blow down houses. Listen. That's his Huff and Puff song. He's singing. Puff and Puff. Puff and Puff. Puff and Puff. Puff and Puff. Oh, no! What did the wolf do to the straw house? Yes! He blew it down! Now he's laughing and dancing away. What a bad wolf! Don't worry, little pig. We'll take you to your friend's house. Look! The second pig is making his house out of sticks. Good craftsmanship, little pig. <laughs> Come on, let's go see the third little pig. There's the third pig over by that blueprint. Ooh, the third pig wants to build his house out of bricks. Good plan, little pig. Do you think the wolf can blow down a brick house? No, it's too strong. Not even the big bad wolf can blow a brick house down. <laughs> to build a brick house, we need a door, a roof, and lots of bricks. <laughs> But the little pigs don't have a door. Or a roof. Or bricks. Don't worry, little pigs. Rocket says he can get you those things. Yeah, he'll help you build the biggest, strongest house ever. But he's going to need our help. Will you help Rocket make a brick house for the pigs? Great! We've got a mission. We're going to build a brick house for the three little pigs. Let the mission begin. Come on. Welcome aboard. Buckle your seat. Going to need a lot of power to 
blast off. Pat, 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 pat. June is patting. Quincy's patting. Annie's patting. <laughs> but we need more power. Put your hands on your lap and pat with us. Pat, 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 pat. Faster. Pat, 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 pat. pat, pat. Now raise your arms. to make a brick house that the wolf can't blow down. But he'd better build it quick. The little pigs all need a house and they need it quick. Build it rocket, build it rocket, build a house out of brick. That's right, Annie. Rocket can do it. He can build anything. But remember, Rocket, to build a brick house, we need to find a door, a roof, and bricks. Listen, I hear one of the things we need to build the house. Do you see one of the things we need? It's the door! Yes! It's inside that cave, the Moinus Velus in Portugal. Hurry, Rocket, let's grab it! that door to build a brick house. Wait, Rocket knows how to push away the rocks and dirt. He can turn into a construction vehicle. Rocket can be a crane, or a forklift, or a bulldozer. A bulldozer is perfect for pushing rocks and dirt. Press it, Leo! Wow! Rocket is using his bulldozer to push the rocks and dirt away. But that's a really big pile of rocks and dirt. Rocket needs our help. Let's do a pushing dance to help Rocket push the rocks and dirt away. First, push your hands in front of you, like this. Push! Then, pat your hands once on your lap, like this. Pat. Good. Now do them with me. Push, pat. 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 It's working! Rocket is pushing the rocks and dirt away. But we still can't get inside the cave. We need to do our pushing dance faster. Like this. Push, pat, push, pat, push, pat, push, pat, push, pat, push, pat, push, pat. Hooray! Now Rocket can get the door and take it to the little pigs. have a 
a door for their house. But we still need two more parts to finish the brick house. A roof and lots of bricks. Don't worry, little pigs. Rocket will find them. Listen, that sounds like another part for the pig's house. Do you see another part for the little pig's house? Oh, yeah! It's the roof! It's at the bottom of the Ponta de Pico. Uh-oh! Who does that sound like? Yes! It's the, the Big Bad Wolf! There he goes! He's singing! heavy roof down, he can be one of his construction vehicles. He can turn into a forklift or a crane. Cranes can reach way up high. Push it, Leo. Yay, rocket! Uh-oh, but the Ponta de Pico is so tall. Rocket's crane can't reach the roof. Rocket needs our help. We have to pull these levers to make Rocket's crane go higher. But we need to listen carefully for the lever that plays a high note. A high note sounds like this. Now let's listen for the lever that sounds high. Hmm. I wonder which lever sounds high. Like this. Let's listen one more time. Which lever sounds high? The yellow lever or the purple lever? The yellow lever! Right! It plays a high note. Great job, Quincy! Thanks, Leo. And thank you for helping me pull the right lever. building the pig's house. What's the last thing we need? Bricks, right! We can't build a brick house without bricks. Come on, team! Listen! I hear the bricks! Uh-oh! Who does that sound like? It's... The Big Bad Wolf! He's singing... can use one of his construction vehicles to lift the haystacks and find the bricks. He can be a 
forklift. Way to go, Rocket. But there are so many haystacks. We need to listen for the haystack that has the bricks. The brick song sounds like this. <laughs> Now let's listen carefully to this first haystack. Is that the brick song? No, that doesn't sound like the brick song. Let's see what it is. It's an old boot under the haystack. <laughs> Let's try this haystack over here. Listen carefully. Is that the brick song? No. It's a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to this haystack. Is that the brick song? Yes! Let's check and see if we're right. Did we find the bricks? Yes, there they are! Now we have the last thing we need to build the pig's house. Come on! Listen! Sounds like the three little pigs. They sound worried. Uh-oh. I see what's the matter. The big bad wolf is coming. Oh, no. He's going to try and blow down their house. But the house isn't finished yet. We still have to put the bricks on. Don't worry, pigs. Rocket can bring you the bricks and put them on your house super fast! We're going to have to fly Rocket as fast as he can go. Super fast! Super fast! Super fast! To get to super fast, we have to start at Adagio. Pat the beat on your lap slowly.
<laughs> now the three little pigs never have to worry about the wolf again. Mission completion! <laughs> and the instrument dinosaurs. Art, Vesuvius, painted by Andy Warhol. And music. <laughs> the Maldow, written by Frederick Smetana. Hey, I'm Quincy. My friends and I are exploring deep in the jungle. We're looking for dinosaurs, special dinosaurs that look and sound like musical instruments. Instrument dinosaurs! Will you help us look for instrument dinosaurs? All right! But we have to be quiet. Piano. We don't want to scare the dinosaurs away. Listen, I hear music. It's coming from over there. Maybe it's instrument dinosaurs. Come on! Can you find any instrument dinosaurs? Where? You're right! We found instrument dinosaurs! I cannot believe it! Wow! Amazing! That dinosaur sounds like a harp! That dinosaur sounds like an oboe! Ooh, now I hear a dinosaur that sounds just like my piccolo. A piccolo sounds like this. Here comes the piccolo dinosaur. She flew over there by that nest. It's a pterodactyl with the body of a piccolo. She's a piccolodactyl. Can you say piccolodactyl? Piccolodactyl. Look, she's sitting on an egg. She's a mommy piccolodactyl. Her egg is about to hatch. Aw, it's a baby piccolodactyl. How cute! He's singing a beautiful song with his mommy. Mommy Piccolodactyl loves her baby very much. Hi, baby Piccolodactyl. I'm Quincy, and I love piccolos. Listen, I can play your song. Quincy? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, baby Piccolodactyl. I like you, too. Oh, baby Piccolodactyl sounds hungry. Mommy Piccolodactyl is going to find food for him. Dinosaur, coming this way! He sounds just like my bass. Do you see a dinosaur that looks like my bass? Yeah, it's that big Basosaurus Rex! Whoa, he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex with the body of a bass. His music 
music sounds low and really loud. Fortissimo! Uh-oh. Baby Piccolodactyl is scared of the loud Basasaurus. <gasps> oh, no! He's flying away from the nest! Poor baby Piccolodactyl got so scared that he flew far, far away. He's going to get lost. Uh-oh. Mommy Piccolodactyl can't find her baby. She's very worried. Don't worry, Mommy Piccolodactyl. We can help you find your baby. We're the little Einsteins. <laughs> but to find the lost baby Piccolodactyl, we're going to need your help. Will you help us find the baby Piccolodactyl? Great! We've got a mission! We're going to find the baby Piccolodactyl. Let the mission begin! Buckle your seatbelts! Seatbelts buckles! Prepare for blastoff! We need to give Rocket a lot of power. Put your hands on your lap and pet with us! Raise your arms as high as you can and say, Blast off! Blast off! Hold on tight, because here we go! Oh, boy! We're off to find an instrument, dinosaur. Oh, lost baby Piccolo will find you for sure. But how are we going to find Baby Piccolodactyl? He flew far, far away. I have an idea. Let's ask the instrument dinosaurs. Maybe they can help. I hear one now. And he sounds just like my triangle. Do you see a triangle instrument dinosaur? Oh, yeah! It's a stegosaurus with triangles on his back. He's a stega triangle. Excuse me, stega triangle. Do you know which way baby Piccolodactyl went? He's telling us to go that way, through the jungle of giant flowers. Thanks, stega triangle. before Basasaurus Rex does. Ooh, these flowers sure are giant. Uh-oh, that big one almost snapped up Rocket. It's a snapping flower. But Rocket has to get past the snapping flowers to find baby Piccolodactyl. Look, look, look! The little clapping flowers want to help us. Yeah, when the clapping flowers clap, that means it's safe to go. Let's help Rocket move to the clapping flower bee. Clap, 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 clap. Clap it with me. Clap, clap, clap. That's it. But remember, when the clapping flowers stop making music, we have to stop clapping and freeze. That will tell Rocket to stop. 
so he doesn't get snapped by a snapping flower. Listen for the music. Let's keep going. Clap, 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 freeze. Phew, we're almost past all the snapping flowers. Clap, 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 clap. We made it. Hooray! Way to go, June. Thank you for helping us get past all the snapping flowers. I wonder where we should go next to find baby Piccolodactyl. I wish we could ask another instrument dinosaur for help. I hear an instrument dinosaur. He sounds like my tuba. Can you find a tuba dinosaur? Yes, over there, by those big rocks. She's a Triceratops dinosaur with a tuba body. A tuba ceratops. Tuba ceratops? Do you know which way baby Piccolodactyl went? Tuba ceratops says baby Piccolodactyl went that way, through the dinosaur tunnel. Oh, thanks, Tubaceratops. Uh-oh, the leaves are shaking. And the ground is rumbling. I hear someone who sounds really loud. Fortissimo. Who do you think it is? He didn't see us. Good hiding, Rocket. Now, let's get through this dinosaur tunnel so we can find baby Piccolodactyl. Uh-oh. There isn't just one dinosaur tunnel. There are three dinosaur tunnels. We don't know which way baby Piccolodactyl went. Don't worry. All we have to do is listen for him. Remember, Baby Piccolodactyl is a piccolo dinosaur. To find him, we have to find the tunnel that sounds just like my piccolo. Let's listen to the first tunnel. Does that sound like a piccolo? No, that's not a piccolo. It's a harp. See, the Harpodon dinosaur went through this tunnel. Hi, Harpodon! We need to listen for the tunnel that sounds like my piccolo. Let's listen to this tunnel over here. Does that sound like a piccolo? No, that's an oboe. And look, there's an oboe raptor. Let's try this tunnel. Does that sound like a piccolo? Yes! Baby Piccolodactyl went this way! Follow me! Come on! Let's see if we can find Baby Piccolodactyl with my binoculars. Where is baby Piccolodactyl? You're right! He's on top of that mountain! Uh-oh! That sounds like trouble! That's not just a mountain. It's a big, loud volcano! And it's about to erupt! Oh, no! Baby Piccolodactyl sounds scared. We have to save him. But how are we 
going to get to the top of the volcano before it erupts. Rocket can do it. He can fly super fast. Come on, team. We're going to have to fly Rocket as fast as he can go. Super fast. Super fast. Super fast. To get to super fast, we have to start at Adagio. Pat the beat on your lap slowly. Moderato. Now pat the beat on your tummy a little faster. Allegro. Now pat the beat on your shoulders even faster. Dactyl, so he can help him just like us. Listen, he's not playing forte anymore. He's playing quietly piano. He's trying to put the volcano to sleep. But the volcano keeps getting louder and louder! Asasaurus Rex needs our help to put the volcano to sleep. Get out your base, hold the base up with one hand, and use your other hand to slide your bow over the strings. Gently, from side to side. That's it. We're playing the music quietly. Piano. It's working. The volcano's getting sleepy. But we need to help Basosaurus Rex play even quieter. Hold your bass up and bow the string softer, side to side, as quietly as you can. Pianissimo. The volcano is sleeping. We stopped it from erupting. Look, look, look! Here comes baby Piccolo Dactyl! Basosaurus, 
You helped save baby Piccolo Dactyl. Aw, baby Piccolo Dactyl is giving Basisaurus a hug. He's not scared of Basisaurus anymore. Look, here comes Mommy Piccolo Dactyl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>